Hello there boys and girls and welcome back to episode number 21 of my Road to Dragon Tier series on the Trailblazer League. So, just in case you missed the last episode, this is probably the only time I'm ever going to say this, but I recommend you go and watch that one before checking out this episode. But if you don't want to, for a very, very quick summary, first off we got ourselves the Archer's Ring to complete the entire ring set from DK's. And then next up, I did get myself yet another Kraken task. And finally, after going three times over the drop rate, I did get myself my Abyssal Tentacle finally. And then in the next 150 kills, I picked up seven more Kraken Tentacles, which is just insane. And also, and I literally still cannot believe this happened, I managed to get myself a Rune Crossbow from a Lucky Imp inside of Mauritania on my very first Lucky Imp ever, which completed probably the most difficult challenge in the game for only 10 points, but... I think I am the first person to do it. I haven't seen anyone else say that they have done it yet. Oh, and also, I forgot to mention, I did also get myself a Blood Fury as well. And so, realistically, I don't think I'm ever going to be able to top an episode like that in terms of pure RNG ever again. So, it's all downhill from here, boys. But anyway, we did also grab quite a few points last episode as well. And we're currently seeing at 30,920 for the start of today's episode. So, with that said, the main goal for today's episode is to finally crack open all of these scroll boxes that I've had saved up for quite a while now. And see how many caskets we can save up, as the uh, Clue Scroll update did just go live today. But as always, guys, if you have been enjoying the Trailblazer uploads and you want to support the channel, then a big like on the video would be absolutely amazing. But anyway, let's dive straight into all of the Clue content. But actually, a quick little bit of context on this next clip. So I decided to open both the Hard and Elite Clues five at a time instead of saving all of them up to the end of the stream. So that way, if people couldn't stay for the entire stream, at least they got to see a little bit of Clue content. And for one of these um, Hard Clues, I did need myself both a Stole and also a Rune Heraldic Shield. So I did crack one open just to see if I got lucky. Alright, so we'll crack this one open a little early to see if we do end up getting either a Stole or a Heraldic Shield. We get neither. Blue Dragon Mask, Enchanted Hat. Not too bad. We've opened one so far. Didn't really get anything. But anyway, let's see what we get. Oh my god. Straight away, Ancient Kite Shield, Armor Full Helm, and a Master Scroll Box. I'll try and do one at the end of the stream. Grab my little fellow with a follow. Thank you, mate. Ooh, into another one. Back to back. Let's go. Holy, that is, that's four uniques in one. We've got Zami Plate Legs, Ancient Plate Legs, Sara Plate Skirt, and Gothic's Braces in that one. Next up, Rune Defender Ornament Kit. Can't use that one, unfortunately. Next up, Ancient Coif. Blessing, not too bad. Firelighters. I mean, to be fair, Hards are always good for Alkables, so... And next up, all right. Elites normally suck, so let's see if... Uh, thank you for maintaining my space, guys. Oh my god, oh my god. And uh, next up, a Giant Boot. All right, what's that look like? Damn, the fashions... Oh, I already have a Giant Boot, don't I? Never mind. That's my second Giant Boot now. But JD, thank you for that gift to Sam, mate. I will thank you properly after I've uh, cracked these open. But thank you, mate. Here we go. Arceus Scarf. Another Master Scroll Box. Uh, poo. Absolute slime. Zami Page. Now, uh, pages are good because of all the um, the page tasks. I will take that. And lastly, oh my god. I mean, yeah, elites do suck most of the time. So, yeah, nothing really too great there. Yeah, I don't think I've got a full set of anything yet. Maybe Armadil. Um, oh, will this count as a full set, boys? Maybe it will. Let's have a look. I mean, it should do, right? Hey, there we go. Oh, 100 points for that as well. Not too bad. Not too shabby at all. I didn't know if you needed the um, the kite shield as well, but there you go. That's, uh, that's another one ticked off. Not too bad. I mean, third age, I can't... I, I, could, I, I could say I want third age, but realistically. Either way, let's crack them open. Let's see what we get. What a stinker to kick us off. What the hell is that? That is awful. Oh, pages as well. Pages are what I want. I want to complete all God, uh, all God books by the end of the league, so... Good luck, thank you, headshot, mate. Sarah, plate legs. All right, some lobbies. Oh, my. These have been terrible. Gothic's page. I'll take that. Not too shabby. I will remember this time, Max. I will remember to alk all the thingies. Actually, that's really good. That's really good. I'll be pretty upset with that on the other game, but two magic seeds is actually sick. That is actually very sick. Ooh. Oh, I haven't done all the tasks then. There we go. 25 uh, unique items from uh, Elite. 250 points as well. I completely forgot I hadn't done that one yet. Royal Gown Top. That's that's okay, Fashion Scape. It's not too bad. Again, use Seed Farming XP and Construction as well. Not too bad. Now, that is awful. What the hell is that? That is terrible. And again, pretty terrible. Not, not Nothing really to say about that, but I will take that. Another 250 points from that. Didn't even realize I was that close. I thought I'd done all of those tasks. Um, Master. Okay, let's see here. I'm going to be very disappointed if all six of these have to be dropped. All right, come on. First one. Perfect! In the Legends Guild. There we go. One step done already. Uh, open it. Should I, just, should I just open it straight away? Alright, this this is actually going to be a Master Clue. 
There we go. The Clue Relic OP. All right, do we open it? As, well, yeah, let's go for it straight away. I've never opened a Master Clue on this game. Obviously, I've got the one saved up on my um, Clue Seeker account. But, all right, let's crack it open. Oh, okay. Oh, I just saw a bunch of text. Oh, okay. What do we get? Okay, we got 100 for opening a Master, but overall, that stinks, mate. Actually, no, we got two, sorry. Wait, a unique? Oh, Firelight okay. I was confused. I was like, where's the unique in there? But there we go. That's another 200 points, but... That is a terrible master clue, to be fair. For my first one ever as well, but... You know, I'll take the points, I guess. Mate, that is garbage. What the hell? So even though my first ever master clue absolutely honked, I was so surprised that we managed to do it in just one clue, so all six steps coming from the same clue. But with that said, I haven't been nearly as lucky on the other master clues, as I have burned through a fair few of them now, and I am currently one step into this master clue, with the current step being one that I can actually do, I just don't actually have all the requirements yet. So the second part of this cryptic clue I could go and do right now, as I do have all the items, however for the other two I am missing a few little bits. So first off for this one I do need to do the Cold War quest, which actually shouldn't take too long. But this one's more of a problem, 100 magic attack bonus, and I think with my best gear right now, I think I'm on about 94 or 96. So the plan of action for the first step is to go and send some more Barrows runs, as if I do get a piece of Arams, either the top or bottom, it should push us over that 100 magic attack bonus that we need. And also, I do want to get that full set of Barrows uh, task out of the way as well. But before I do go, I need to finally get the Mauritania Hard Diary out of the way as well, as um, the Moria Legs 3 would be absolutely amazing for teleporting around, as it is a very quick teleport to Bergdorot. And also, um, it would be nice to get the extra runes from the chest as well. Oh, and uh, also whilst we're about, this should be level 99 cooking as well for another 250 points. Hey, and just like that, there are all of the Mauritania easy diary tasks done. So 20 minutes of fun and interactive gameplay over at Trouble Brewing later, and that should be all of the medium diary tasks done as well. Damn, so I didn't realise how long these stupid mushrooms actually take to grow. So in the meantime, whilst I'm waiting, and that is my last um, hard task for the diary, I think I'm going to go quickly knock out the Cold War quest just to get it out of the way. And there we go, there is the Cold War quest completed. And whilst I was thinking about it, I thought I'd quickly knock out a lap of the Penguin Agility course for another 50 points. So even with the Cold War quest out of the way, I've still got about two hours before this stupid mushroom finally finishes growing, so I might as well get a couple Barrows runs in in the meantime. Alright, first chest in quite a while actually, and not too bad I guess, decent amount of Chaos runes. Oh, Guthan's Chain Skirt. I don't actually know if I have that. I mean, we've done quite a few chests now. That is the first item that we've got. Um, I'll have to have a look in the uh, the bank, but I don't think we've got one of those. So I think we did about 11 or 12 chests in total, and unfortunately, all we got was the uh, Guthans chain skirt. But with these mushrooms harvested, that should finally be all of the Mauritania hard diary tasks done. Okay. I was a bit worried then, it didn't pop up for a little bit, but there we go, for another 100 points. There we go, the Mauritania Legs 3 have been acquired, which is actually really nice, because as I said, it takes me so long to get to uh, Bergdorok, I have to take the fairy ring by um, the Nature Grotto every single time, which takes like 2 or 3 minutes, but anyway, as always, these are going to go straight onto Herblore. So what was that, like 160k in total, and I think this is like 240 as well. And uh, that is now level 88 Herblore. I know this sounds a little bit counterproductive, because we did just get ourselves the extra runes from the uh, Mori Hard Diary from Barrows, but I am going to leave Barrows for a little bit, because it isn't that likely that we're going to get either the Arams top or bottom. And obviously, we'll be back to Barrows at some point, because I do want to knock out that task to get a full set of uh, Barrows. But what I'm going to do instead is get myself some easy magic upgrades that will get me over that 100 uh, magic bonus that I need for the clue. Starting off with the RD Cape 3, which means it is time to do some more achievement diaries. Okay, so completely ignore what I said about the RD Hard Diary. I can't actually do it right now because I don't have a palm tree planted to uh, check the health of, but I can easily do the medium diary. I just need to first knock out the Tower of Life quest. Hey, there we go. Didn't even know that was a task. There is the Tower of Life quest out of the way for another 10 points. Hey, and there we go. There are all of the medium diary tasks done for the RD area as well. And there we go, there is the RD Cloak 2 acquired, which I do believe gives two extra magic attack bonus compared to the RD Cloak 1, so maybe we'll just about be able to squeeze that 100 uh, magic attack bonus that we need. Okay, so by the absolute skin of my teeth, there is the 100 magic bonus that we needed, so let's go and do that master clue. There's part 1 done, part 2, done, and part 3, done. So we do have the combined, we have all, all pieces here, and I thought it'd be good to do it on stream to, you know, because that's where we left off yesterday, so we'll continue where we left off. So we'll see how far we can get into this master clue, and then continue on with the uh, the hards and the elites. So, let's see what the next step is going to be. Two hours, 40 minutes, fine, that's completely fine. I'll worry about that after the stream. Thank you, boys. Next up, we're going to have ourselves a Joral step. So maybe, where is that? Oh, Asgarnia or Desert, okay. That is both Asgarnia or Desert, isn't it? Okay, unfortunately, that's going to be a drop one. That's going to be a drop one. I want Rune G from the hard clues, um, because there is a task for full rune G, not gilded, like the trimmed G rune. Um, I want pages, because I do want to finish a god book for the task. 
And obviously Mega Rares would be sick. Anyway, let's crack these open. Without further ado, that is not what I want. I mean, Alcable is always going to be good because there is that task for the Demonic Throne. And I do need to save up 25 mil. That's actually a pretty good clue. I think I've got um, the Armadillo Dehyde boots already. Gothic Shield isn't too bad. Uh, Red, Red Chaps Tea. Another Alcable. Uh, Armadillo Coif. Navy Cavalier. Bit of Fashion Scape. And... Oh, there we go. There's, I think that is our first bit of uh, Rune G, actually. So, Swamp Man vibes. Well, this is where I got the Lucky Imp, so... Look at the plugs. Like, for people that are just, like, chilling around Canopus, they're going to be so confused. Any Ooh, some... Wait, what even are those? I've never seen those before. <laughs> oh, mate, we're looking sick. Are those the things you add to the blue party yet? Very cheeky, I'll take those. Next up, Master Clue. That's what we want, sorry. I forgot to add that. We do want Master Clues. As I am two steps into another clue. Musketeer Pants under the Blacksmith's Helm. The Fashion Scape. Oh, wait a second here. Oh, okay, there's another task. I didn't even realize. That's 10 uh, elite slots as well. Dragon Full Helm Ornament Kit. Maybe we'll uh, get a Dragon Full Helm this league to uh, attach it to. And uh, lastly, some Alcaballs. But yeah, elites kind of stink most of the time. So the last ones were pretty awful. I don't think we really got anything from them. I think we did actually complete a task, but I mean, yeah, so let's you know, see what we get this time. Okay, Gothic's page. Oh, there's the stole finally. I do need a stole for one of the uh, emote clues as well as a heraldic shield, which I do have now, so that's very good. And a Gothic's page as well is also very good. Ooh, okay. All the hats in this one. Cavalier, pirate's hat. I think we do have uh, both of those anyway. Gothic's plate legs and a zombie head. What does this look like? Oh, wait, it's not even... Oh, for some reason, I thought it was like a head slot item. That looks terrible. All right, so... Oh, Armadillo page two. Big, big pirate hat. Oh, okay. That's actually really good. That was some pretty good fashion. Oh, there we go. Now I've got the full Rangers. I've got the Rangers tights. There's the uh, tunic as well, as well as a master clue. And a bandle page as well. That's a really, really good clue right there. Four mil on that. I'll take that. Not too shabby. In into an absolute honker. Like, what is that? Next up... Mate, what is, what is it with me and Armadillo pages? Maybe I'll finish the full book. I'll have a look after. But mo another master clue as well. <laughs> Again, disgusting. But yeah, let's see Let's see how many pages are in now. And let's have a little look. So if I go page. Oh, we need one more for the full Armadillo book. I've got three of the same page. So we're on the lookout for an... <gasps> it's the Armadillo page three. Boys, the Armadillo page three is back. I do want to get one master clue, because we're one master clue step off another master casket. And there we go, straight away. You ask, you receive. Sarah Dehyde boots. Alcaballs. Other than that, I do want pages as well. Master clues and pages are cool. Um, Zami boots, Guthix chaps. Not too bad. Bunch of Alcaballs. Uh, Sarah plates got Zami plate legs. Yeah, none of this stuff is like, particularly useful, but you know, it's stuff ticks off of the log, I guess. And, uh, oh, okay. I'll have to pick that up off the floor. I will uh, have a look, little look in the log as well when we are done here. And I also need rune, uh, rune uh, G as well. There's a task to equip full rune G. Oh, my God. Did I just get a pair of Sammy boots? What the hell? I'm getting so much uh, blessed E-hide. And again, armor. That might be... I don't know if I have that one, actually. Bucket helm as well. I put that in a stash unit. More Akaballs. Rune full MT. Purple sweets. And... Oh, my God. Jesus. I don't know, really, I don't know how many um, uniques are on already, but... That's now 78 hard clues. That's that's some pretty decent loot. I mean, to be fair, obviously, with the uh, increased drop rates, it's not, like, that surprising, is it? But still. 70... Jesus, that's insane. On clues, too. Yeah, it's three times drop rate on clues. Which is uh, really good, actually. I mean, I've got so many ornament kits, and I can't use any of them yet. But yeah, man, the Robin Hood hat is still probably the best thing that I've got so far. But yeah, look at this. So we've, we're only the chaps off of the complete full armor um, set now. Not too bad. As I say, we are one step off being able to do another master clue. So hopefully from one of these two, it is a step I can do. Priftiness, no. Come on. And as I said, I was going to end the stream after this. So come on. Give me give me energy, guys. I really, I want to get that, that second master clue. Come on, please. Please be something I can do. Joral, maybe. Oh. <gasps> oh, I think we can do all of those. Oh, we can do it. 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 It's one of them. Thank you, Fremenic. Let's go. All right, that's going to be another master clue. All right, unless I've somehow messed up, this should be a master clue. There we go. Okay, so I'm trying to think what I want from this. There isn't really anything in particular that I want from master clues, you know what I mean? But as I say, I've never really cracked... I've only ever cracked one open. Obviously, I want the Bloodhound, but like to, to say that I want it... You want, shall I go back to Edge, shall I? Okay, we'll open it in Edge. All right there, Ingus, mate. Third Edge easy, you reckon so? How are you doing, Ingus? All right, see. Should we do it? Should we do it on the drop? Should we do it on the drop? You ready? Max, I swear to God, go away. <laughs> ready? And... Okay, alright, that's, that's a unique at least. 
old demon mask. What does that look like? Oh, okay. That's not too bad. I mean, it could be worse, right? It could be a worse unique, to be fair. It could be no uniques, but <laughs> that's Master Clues Go. I mean, to be fair, it's only the, the second ever Master I've opened, so I think it's some pretty good fashion skip. Yeah, thank you for the uh, following, isn't it? What do you reckon? Personally, I think the Robin Hood hat looks a little bit better, but you never know. I mean, maybe this, would be the, this, this might be the first one in the game. You never know. So I'm not going to lie, this outfit is really starting to grow on me, and I think the demon mask actually looks really good with the Slayer cape as well. And so once again, I am very, very happy that I did decide to go with the Treasure Seeker Relic in the end, especially after this clue update. And also, we are currently seeing a joint rank 1 Master Clues open with the two in total that we did do in today's episode, which again, I think is a pretty cool achievement. But I really do hope you guys have enjoyed this clue-filled episode, because I did see quite a few of you down in the comments asking where all the clue content did go, and I did say I was waiting for the uh, clue update, so yeah, I really hope you guys have enjoyed this extra long one. We have actually gained a decent amount of league points in today's episode as well from doing all those clues as we are now seeing on a total of 32,240 points which means we have gained a total of 1,320 points in today's episode. Oops, and if I can type, we're now seeing on rank 3,845. And as always, I will be live a little later over on my Twitch channel, and I will most likely be doing a little bit more Slayer and also stacking some more clue scroll boxes. So if you fancy checking it out, I'd love to see as many of you guys over there as we can. And so with all that said, guys, I think that is where we're going to call it for today's episode of Road to Dragon Tears. So as always, I really do hope you guys have enjoyed this one. So if you have and you liked all the clue content, then a big old like on the video would be absolutely amazing. But until next time, guys, as always, stay safe and I'll see you very soon.